Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and the continuation of the Gunsmith series for Patch 13 and Escape from Tarkov. We'll be doing this all the way through, updating it for the most recent wipe. So let's get right into it and not waste any more of your time. All right, so Gunsmith Part 2 from Mechanic, obviously. Uh, some of the rewards have changed, though it hasn't changed from last wipe, it changed from the last time I did this video. Uh, the requirements are 3.5 kilograms or less. Ergonomics over 58. It can't be more than six slots, which means six slots, which means you have to just have it folded. It needs a B11 handguard, 60 round mag, and then the sighting range over 100, but that doesn't really matter. So to build it, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, again, we'll do it just like we did last time. I fold the stock, take out the mag, take off the grip. Now make sure you take off the foregrip and not the gas tube. See, I just pulled off the, the grip there, but the gas tube, it looks like the same. So you gotta make sure you do that right. Pull off the foregrip and not the gas tube. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Now the three parts, the four parts, sorry, you're gonna need are a 60 round mag, the 6L31, the RP1 uh, charging handle, the B11 handguard, and the KC vertical foregrip. Now buying these three parts is easy, uh, aside from the magazine. So the CAC foregrip is right on Peacekeeper, right here, 32 bucks. Then Skier has your other two parts. The B11, let me find it, it's on level one, so I'll just do that. B11 is right here, for 6,000 rubles essentially. And then the RP1 is right there, or 3,000 rubles. Easy as that, that's all you gotta buy, aside from the 60 round mag. You can either get to level 15 and buy it off the flea market for a boatload of money, as you can see there. You can get to proper and get his task uh, ice cream cones done, which requires you to turn three of these found and right in. Let me just go to it and I'll show it to you. I don't know why I'm explaining it. You got ice cream cones. You got to turn in three of these 60 round mags, and then it unlocks the barter for him, which is how I've got this one. It's a thermometer. Uh, and or finally, and I don't recommend this because what you should, I don't recommend doing this for it specifically, but if you get your uh, laboratory to level two, you can craft it. Now it's right here. It's this craft. It's kind of hard to see because I'm crafting a mag case, but it's it's four magazines, one uh, keck tape, and then you have to have the long flat screwdriver to do the craft. But what you should do is you should craft three of those or the three you find in raid, turn those in and then do the barter. Don't use a found in raid one in the task just because unless you're like in some kind of super hurry because it's just a waste of money right now. You can see I'm going to sell that mag for probably 200K here once I get done doing this video. But the build itself is pretty straightforward. Uh, put on the B11. Again, make sure you don't take that gas tube off because it won't work. CAC foregrip, the RP1, 60 round mag, and boom, we've got our little yellow check mark. That's all there is to it. You can turn it right in. And just so that you guys can see that we did it, we'll turn it in right here and be part of the process. Done, complete, and there we go. Signal part one's unlocked, but that's because I just hit level 20, I believe. I think is what it did that no it didn't it did it that unlock signal part one i don't remember if that's always been that way or not but there it is if that's it for gunsmith part two make sure you check out here for gunsmith part three and we'll just keep rolling through the series